Alright guys, so I have an interesting idea. I was thinking about doing a Minecraft series in a buffet world that is exclusively the end biome. <coughs> so, that should I create a world like that? I will be enabling the bonus chest because there might not be an, any way to get wood. And brownie points if you know what this seed means. Show to go to single biome, and I'll be doing end highlands. Game rules. I'm going to move the respawn radius to one. Percentage, I'm going to just make that. up and I think we're good all right so we have spawned in it's my awesome skin and so there's several in cities over there in What I'm gonna do is turn all these logs into planks. Then I'm gonna grab some cobblestone. I think about 10 or 20 would be good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some tools with the cobblestone but in addition to that it's not not just how to make cobblestone use, I'm actually going to use dirt to pillar up because cobblestone takes a lot longer to mine I'll get this little area of stone and that should be good to make some basic tools crafting bench with that I'm gonna make some tools so this is a stone shovel I'm also gonna make a furnace and this is to cook that piece of stone So pickaxe. I'm gonna dig out some of this dirt. So that should be good. We're gonna raid this one, which actually does have a ship. This is just this becoming the end. With the same sky color and everything, this almost reminds me of in better off edition when you have, or just anywhere when you have night vision at the end. That's really cool. I'm gonna finish getting this up. I'm actually probably just gonna go until the shovel breaks. sticks and then I will take 
my crafting bench and my furnace up. Grab a slight bit more stone. And then using this, I'm going to look for anything that appears to be a treasure room. And there appear to be two aside from the ship. Because of how I know, because if it has three levels, it is a treasure room. If it is less than three, it is not a treasure room. Also, the bottom one is not a treasure room. I'm going to go a way that does not have. I can't show you that. A way that does not have shulkers. There are shulkers here. There are no trees here. I don't even know if you can get saplings. I don't think villages spawn in this biome. crazy getting this advancement so early on in the game. Cool, we get some diamonds? That is awesome, just get diamonds right away. And some iron. Iron sword, we'll t I'll take it for the time being. Oh, I'm here right now. Yeah, all these awesome tools. And some armor. Which makes it even better. But what happened to the. Sh shield already? No. A shield may be necessary. I did, the iron sword, if I had sharpness for it, then it may do more than my stone, it may do as much or more than the stone axe, but currently the stone axe actually does more damage. It's four and a half hearts, because it's unlike bedrock, in Java, as I'm used to playing bedrock, and in Java, swords do, uh, axes do more damage than swords. In bedrock, swords do more, and also... In Java weapons overall do a lot less damage. So now let's break this purper so we can access the chests. Got some more armor here. This is just a protection three. These are already fire. That probably prop three. And the main thing is I do I don't have a ranged weapon. So it might not be the best idea to go for the ship at the moment. Now you know maybe because we get the levitation effect, it might be okay. That should be enough to like get within the range of the shelters. Let's 
so uh, All right, now let me back. I had to uh, break there because it only lets me record up to ten minutes with the free bandy cam. Yes, I use bandy cam. I don't even have a webcam on me. And I need to get within the range of the shulkers so they'll start firing at me. And I only have to be hit once because they give me levitation. I actually have armor, unlike well, it's fine. I'm not gonna die from the fall there. So I'm heal up a little bit, enough to like make a run for it. Way too much damage. I need to head back. Also, it's getting nighttime. Now, yes, we got all this gold. We have curse. I don't even need the wood pickaxe anymore. I mean, I'm actually like doing this now. Got some protection for and breaking the ending. That's awesome. And since I have the elytra. I can just fly straight off. I'm actually gonna head towards this one. I need to make some fireworks, but don't have any. I wonder if ores even spawn here. Because that would actually be kind of strange if they just completely did not spawn. I need to get some more dirt so I can build up the top. And what I'm going to want to do is see if I can get to the nether. And possibly, you know maybe go to the end normally. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go and do the other dragon. I'm definitely going to be able to do it in this episode because once I get done with this ten, nearly 10 minutes, I'm going to end up finishing. It's right now about 14.
The only issue is that we're not really able to get much food. We got enough dirt for sure to be able to stack up all the way to the top. We could build a build limit with, with this much. That would be cool to actually like go through the gateways. I wonder what they would do if you were to use one while in the overworld. So we are in the overworld and I need a water bucket. That is the simplest thing that I need to do right now. I need to use my iron, craft a bucket. And I'm going to head over to the water and grab some water. Mr. Bush are still firing at me. So we have to get up here. There's also another treasure room around. Side up, and then pull a few folks out. And if Enderman spawn, if what if Enderman spawns and then tries to attack me, I'm essentially dead. This levitation effect is over. Oh, she look like? Is she more annoying than me? Pickaxe is even better than the stone. I don't even need the stone anymore. I'm just going to take all these. And that has the curse of brain, so I don't even need to take brain. If I get enough iron for an anvil, I will be really stoked. Or curse of binding, which I really do not want. Curse of binding sucks. My hunger meter will kill me if I'm not careful, so. Find the chests, probably be on the other side then if it's like that. It's really here then. And since there's a ship. I can use that to uh, mine obsidian, and with the obsidian, I could make another portal. And that's sort of what I want to be able to do: is go to the Nether. I totally like forgot that when I originally came up to the top. Getting to the nether. <laughs> also, considering that mobs don't really spawn here, they don't look like they do. Also, I mean, look at that sunrise in the end biome. The thing is, it's using just the regular noise map. 
but with no like extra foliage or anything. Well, I realized that I want to get this done, so I might actually extend, uh, well, I have already, extend this to a third 10 minute segment. It actually caught up with me way faster. Take two more potions. is actually going to hit harder. Oh god, I got hit literally right there as the bullet was still living. Let me get rid of this levitation effect. Good thing is he teleported. So we're good. Second elytra. We get 31 iron for the meal, which is way too much. And now what I can do. There's efficiencies. I think efficiency pickaxe. Because obsidian is infamous. I'm just gonna go and mine up like as much as I can get. And if I can get gravel in some way or another, then I could get find a way to light another portal. Otherwise, I'll have to use the skyblock method, which I really don't want to have to do because I'm not good with it. So you set fire to wood and it lights the portal. I mean, I don't even know if you can get a fire. I may have to end up utilizing lava. We'll get enough for two nether portals, so I'm just going to get seven more. It's 15, 16. I'm gonna head to that cave because I want to see if there's any gravel that can spawn or ores or anything else. The ore fish is solid rock, and it looks like it's just solid rock. I don't see any gravel or any uh, thing I could use to get flint from. It's only the grass, dirt, and stone. Oh, no food. I have it on normal, so... I can't die from starvation, but it would be just terrible to, to go that way. What I could do is actually with the end ship, well, end ship or end city, I c if I find some beetroot seeds, then I could plant those, and then I could get food. I think there probably were some in one of the ones we visited, but 
that would be really hard to have to climb all the way up. This is really so sick. There's no way. There's like no gravel here. Wait, is that gravel? No, that's dirt. Wait, that's gravel. There actually is gravel here. It's just not in caves. Good to know. So I can just go right around. We got flint in the first try. No way. So I can go to the nether, and it's actually easier to get food in the nether through this way. I can craft a flint and steel. I'm going to replace this with a chest plate so I can get some more armor. I don't need those for this. But I definitely can just go ahead and build a portal. So and then obsidian. five and we have another portal so let's see here i am going to have to cut my ass ready to clobber spawn to like the best of the biomes plus we can get gold here i don't have any shoulder shells so i don't i can't like have a backpack sort of a backpack yet i know what i need to do first what can i have fire prop four Prop three, fire prop four. These already have fire prop, so what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna, I need to make a something, gold, some sort of gold armor, so the pig one don't bother me. I think I'll make gold helmet. And with that, the pig ones won't do anything to me. All guns are still going to attack me, but I should be fine. Unless you have the piglet. Let's go up and some gold. Unless she's just going to see if I can do some piglet trading while I'm at it. So I might get some ender pearls. Gassed. Why is there a gas? There's a gas just fired at me. Those birds are so sweet. I think it's a food for this guy's truck. He's a better rock work, I just. Just spam click. Or I can just spam click anything and they'll drop me. I'm not used to the attack cooldown. They need to remove that. But now that we have food, I wonder, like, can I smelt this, uh, these logs? So I actually cannot smelt nether wood. But can I like use the planks as can I use the planks as fuel in a furnace? No, that is awful. I can't actually do that. So in the meantime, I will have to find like if you can give me coal. I know I can get coal from uh The fortresses, if I find one, there's a ghast. But uh, I don't have any fortress around me. And also, I'm getting close to 30 minutes. I'm gonna have to end the video here. I will see y'all soon. What I want to do next episode is either get some more food 
or maybe some enderpearls to trade with the piglins. Bye-bye.